Hey everybody, it's me, your old pal Dan Classic, and today I'm back with another mail call! <laughs> Here it is, all the way from... Well, it doesn't say. So let's take a look and see what's inside. What the fuck is this? Made in China? Man, I wish it was something better. supposed to be I'm the great combo and I heard you were wishing for a small toy to see and I'm here to make your wishes come true now what is it that you want to get for yourself young man okay I wish for an LJN wrestling superstar that I've never seen before and so it shall be done What the fuck? It's, it's almost like he's like a noodle. Nostalgia. It's fun, isn't it? I mean, here I am talking about toys from years gone past, and I'm not alone. Any toy maker with half a brain should at least entertain the idea of catering to the collector's market. And there's no better way to do that than to exploit nostalgia. In the mid-90s, after Hasbro ended their legendary run with the WWF license, Jack's Pacific took over to varied results. Jax made toys for the WWF slash E for over a decade, and during that time, the nostalgia from the 80s came back around, and in a brilliant idea, semi-revived the LJN Big Style Rubber Wrestlers. It would have been great to get an entire subline of these, instead of a special single figure per series. So let's take a look at Stone Cold Steve Austin from Jack's Pacific Collector Series 14 of the WWE Classic Superstars from 2007. Okay, here it is, the WWE Classic Superstars Collector Series 14, Stone Cold Steve Austin in the LJN style. Let's take a look at the box. Um, Later on, they would do kind of a, uh, you know, try to look like the LJN boxes. Um, kinda did, but it was still in this shape, basically. And, uh, you know, and of course, the figures were a little smaller. And we'll see that here in a second. But we're looking at the box right now. Um, you know, you got your, your legal mumbo jumbo across the, across the bottom here. Choking hazard, small parts, attention. I mean, there wasn't this much horse shit on, a, on an action figure or even on an LJN style figure at that period of time. And I'm gonna, we're going to take a look at one right now. Fuck it. Let's take a look and see because I've got an LJN in the box. Here is Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. And as you can see, it is much bigger. Um, and there isn't the legal mumbo jumbo on the front of the box. On the back here, you've got kind of the collect them all. You've got the whole, you can see all the guys that are available. You've got your file card right here across the top. Um, yeah, these are really great. Um, you know what? It's kind of to the point. You do have a little bit of your, you know, your licensing stuff down here across the bottom and just various stuff. And maybe, 
you know, I don't see anything where it even says like, hey, these are for ages three and up or anything. I mean, I don't know. I could give this, you can give this to a baby. I mean, what can you do with this thing? It's one solid piece. I mean, later on, a few of them come with some tiny accessories, but most of these things, okay, it says for ages four and up, but I would still give this to a baby. I mean, I wouldn't give this one to a baby. It's signed by Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. All right, on the back here, um, you've got kind of the uh, the equivalent of a file card. You've got, you know, uh, the debut year, weight, height, all that great stuff. Sort of your main stats. It has a weird picture of him. Um, the picture has a, uh, has a molded, uh, uh, like a line on the head as if you could, you know, turn the head around. And the whole point of these fucking figures was that they're all one piece, like the LJN figures. Now, the figure in the box doesn't have that, um, and we'll see that as we, we get it out. All right, let's take a look and see what this son of a bitch looks like out of the box. Okay, here he is, Stone Cold Steve Austin in LJN style, and right away, I took him out of the package, and he's sticky as fuck. He's got this, like, listen. He's stuck. He's sticking to the fucking, uh, the bottom of the, of the thing here. This is gross, and he smells. I can smell him from here. I'm two feet away, and I can smell this thing. Um, and it's not really even that old. It might be 11 years this thing's been in the box, and it's already breaking down. I've got LJNs that don't do this. Um, I don't know what Jack Pacific was up to, but let's, let's muscle through and take a look at this figure. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I mean, there really isn't much to say. It's not very poseable. And speaking of the pose, what's up with this pose? Steve Austin has never done a muscle pose, a bicep pose like this. Steve Austin raises his arms up like this, but I've never seen him do this specifically. Uh, maybe he has, but it's not something he's known to do. And if you thought you were gonna go to the trouble of making one of the biggest stars of all time into a uh, you know, LJN style figure, an iconic you know, line like that, you think maybe you might want to put him in a pose that would be befitting um, of that character. But no, we just gave him a bicep pose, you know, Fucking the stupid collectors, they'll just they'll just buy that. Thanks, Jackass Pacific. Alright, anyway, let's take a look. Now, on the box you had a line that went around the head as if you could turn it. Um, as you can see, there's no line here. There's no line at all on this figure's head, so you can't turn the head. Um, oh my it's just so sticky. I have no idea why it's so sticky. I, I, I just opened this up. It is a brand new figure. I mean, new old stock, I guess. But as a figure like that old, it's not that old. It's actually pretty young, especially compared to a lot of the figures I have. Some of the figures I have are almost as old as I am. And these figures should be just fine to take out of the box, but I can smell him from feet away and he's sticky. Like I feel like he's gonna melt right here on camera. I don't want to wait that long, but I don't know, man. Like, let's look at the facial sculpt. It doesn't really look like Stone Cold Steve Austin. It looks like a guy with, you know, a bald head and a goatee and blue eyes. Let's take a look at it and compare the sizes of these things to the LJN figures. And luckily, I've got one right here. Here is Hulk Hogan from the WWF LJN Wrestling Superstars next to this Stone Cold. And um, as you can see, <laughs> one kind of dwarfs the other. And if you're going to make a figure that was based on an old series and you want to make it like look like the LJNs and feel like the LJNs, well, the LJNs aren't super sticky. And another thing, fucking, they're not this small. This thing's a piece of shit. Um, I would have rather got an LJN. You know what? If you weren't going to, if you weren't going to do it right, there was no point in doing it at all. 
and these things were a ripoff 11 years ago and I'm glad I'm glad that Mattel has the license I hope if Mattel decides to do some sort of retro <laughs> some sort of retro line I hope hope that they do a little bit better job than this. Now I know that they have, and we'll be taking a look at those pretty soon, but this is what it is. This is what we got, you know, just a little over a decade ago, we got this. What the fuck? This isn't an LJN, this is from 2007, and this barely resembles a WWF wrestling superstar figure. I beg your pardon, young man. This is exactly what you wish for. This is the very thing that you asked for, and I remember it clear as day back in 19... Oh, whatever. Fuck you, Cosmo. You know what? Get the hell out of here and take this shit with you. Well, if that's how you feel about it, then forget it. I'm going elsewhere. I'll be here if you need me. Well, I guess that's it for this week. We'll see you next time on the Day Classic Show. Raz Holly, hit the music! Shut up, dude.